the Oppo Find X6 Pro finally arrived and instead of doing like my usually first look and unboxing I just want to show you how you can get your data of an older Oppo phone like the Find X3 or Find X3 Pro over to your newer Find X6 Pro. So let's get started. So here we have the two protagonists, um, both Chinese uh, devices, the Find X3 on the right and the Find X6 Pro on the left. And what I want to show you right now is how easy it is to have uh, the data completely transferred over from the Find X3 to the Find X6. The Find X6 is the vanilla version, only trading Shenzhen installed like the Play Store, DRM Info, Safety Net. And by the way, of course, DRM Info, we have L1 level, of course, Netflix in full HD. Safety Net, of course, is passed, as you can see here. And Play Store, we can just log in to download stuff. But now let's go back to the cloning mechanism. Uh, various devices, various manufacturers have different tools. Uh, Huawei uses uh, phone clone and uh, Honor uses device clone and Oppo uses clone phone. So they just changed the name here. So let's start it here and let's start it here on this device. I agree. And yeah, this is the old device and I have to um, give them, give it the permission for everything basically. And I say this is the new device give it permissions for everything. And yeah, I can, as you see here, I can import data from Oppo, Realme and OnePlus, uh, other Android phone from an iPhone or from a cloud backup. I just say here, Oppo phone, I get the QR code ready and then just read the QR code here. And yeah, both are now connecting with each other and preparing the data that needs to be transferred. You can see very easy step to transfer data from one Oppo phone to another phone. So here we go. So we have no contacts, no messages, no call logs because I cleaned this all up. But we have some pictures here. We have some videos as well that I can move over to the Oppo Find X6 Pro. In this case, I don't want to move pictures and videos. Music files, there are two items only. I'm not even sure what it is. I don't want this some document files, maybe preferences is what I want to move over, as well as some apps, as you can see is 7.69 gigabytes and some app data as well that I want to migrate. So I start migration. Um, set lock screen password on your new device. Set a lock screen password for your new device first to keep your data uh, in password secure, then start the migration all over. So we have to do it again. Uh, so you have to set up a lock screen. Uh, so let me do this quickly. Lock screen pin, otherwise the passwords will not be moved over. So let's go to password and security. Lock screen password is turned off. Let's say we want to have something numeric here. And important notice, your lock screen password cannot be retrieved if you forget it, of course. I know about this six digits. We can go to four digits. Let's do a very easy password here and uh, turn on fingerprint unlock can enable it this again as well so i have to now press my finger on here several times and do the normal fingerprint unlock so basically the same thing that you would do when you like first uh, get your device running as you can see here it's an optical fingerprint reader so nothing too fancy but it has the right position and uh, yeah, we can even add a face if we want to. I said agree, add face, continue, put myself into position. As you can see, I detected my face right away because it's 2D face scan. And that's it. So let's go back to this one here. Retry, this is the old device. And now we should be all set up. It's connecting. It's preparing the data and then we can choose which data to transfer over. So no pictures, no videos, no music, documents, okay. Two megabytes, preferences, apps, data and apps in themselves. Start migration and now enter uh, lock screen password to start migrating data and passwords. I think this is lock screen password for this device. And uh, yeah, I just let me off screen enter the password here and it starts migrating the data as you can see here it will give the 
uh, yeah, roughly the, the sending and retrieving um, kilobits or megabytes per second and then the minutes that it will take for uh, getting the data over. It's using Wi-Fi. I think it's using Wi-Fi Connect for this. As you can see here, this symbol that is an indicator for this. And yeah, after this is done, we will check what it retrieved, what it sent over, and all, if all my settings are sent over as well as the apps. And by the way, after a few seconds, it's just going into this dim mode on both, where it's like, as you can see, showing me the data again, but in a more power efficient way, so it's not wasting so much power. Clever idea. Well done, Oppo. So now you can see that the Finex 3 says transfer complete. So it copied all over, all over the data. And this data is now migrating here on the Find X6 Pro. So yeah, I can click done here, can use my phone, my Find X3 right now the way I want to. And uh, yeah, wait for the Find X6 Pro to migrate all the data. So, and after a short while, it says also migration complete. Tap to verify your identity, activate passwords. If not activated, data and passwords will be cleared. And I say yes and enter the lock screen password now. And I enter the lock screen password. And now you can see already, even though it is still using the old wallpaper, we can see, I think, that it took over all, yeah, almost all of the configuration that I had here on my Find X3 Pro. As you can see here, the same kind of configuration here. Um, almost the same kind of icons here. Uh, shop, where we have Amazon, eBay, and we have streaming, where we have various applications here. Even new pipe that I downloaded manually and did not install from the Google Play Store, it took over, which is pretty interesting. Uh, calendar, we have tools here available here, a little bit more tools on the Find X3 for some reason, so I'm not sure why. So HeyTap Cloud is not here available. Maybe it's not there anymore. I even took over YouTube Studio and YouTube Vanced, which is interesting. Uh, though I know, yeah, Vanced is not working anymore. And uh, yeah, Play Store and Android are there. Social media applications are there. I could just try out if I'm able to log in. No, it did not take over the login. Here, it also did not take over the login, but at least I have the data, so I have to re-log in there. Uh, here you can see Maps Me, Maps are there. The sharing applications are there, Share Me, KD Connect, and Nextcloud, which is very interesting. Parrot is there, all the applications, Asphalt 9, Geekbench is there, 9GAG, eToro, MX Player, Camera, Google Camera, oh, Google Camera even took over, and some other applications that are available here. Um, yeah, pretty cool that it did this. There's more applications here, like a reader, IR remote, and my Oppo application. And uh, that's it that I don't have here. But uh, yeah, even Firefox has been taken over. This is Firefox, as you can see here. I think I'm not logged in here on Firefox. Just like double check it. Yeah, here I'm not log logged in. Here I'm logged in. So I have to re log in to some applications. And I think the wallpaper it did not take over because I did not tell him to import from old phone. But here I have in the album application, if I forgot to import stuff, I can say import from old phone. And then it gives me the option to import this again if I need to import uh, some wallpapers, some nice wallpapers here. And it's doing the clone phone app again. So pretty, pretty interesting. As you can see, it's working very fast. It's working very swiftly. The only thing that you have to do on certain applications like social media applications is you have to re-log in in order to use the application, just like I showed you here already with Twitter and some social media applications, Reddit, for example. Uh, yeah, I need to log in here. Here I'm logged in already. So this is something that you have to do. Otherwise, it's a great help if you want to migrate from one Oppo device to another Oppo device, as you can see here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have some questions, write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed the Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.